that's session two. Yeah. We had a bit of a delay. It's been busy here at the farm, mm -hmm. and we made other videos too, so... Yeah. <laughs> that's our excuse, and we're sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> so last time we left off with how there was this friend that came, and it became sort of a... What was supposed to just be passing through, and whatever thing became a sticking around and turning into a relationship thing, well, Noemi and I were in the middle of finding out what we were going to become. While praying, in the middle of praying. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it, it developed into a relationship. This isn't very G-rated, <laughs> but, um, yeah. I don't think you need to tell that. Tell what? Don't need to or do need to? No, don't need to. Okay, then we'll just skip all that goodness. Goodness. <laughs> Badness. <Really>? Badness. <laughs> like, oh, goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> So, then, well, yeah, we'll just kind of fly through that then, I guess. <laughs> a relationship happened. She naturally hated me and had sensed that something was going on because we were in such frequent contact, daily contact, and we always were messaging each other, and well, I guess that was really the extent of it at the time. We were messaging through Skype or, or emails, or I think it was yeah. Skype at that point. Also in the BBM. Mm -hmm. That's right. When Blackberry was still a thing. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, we, we ended up going our separate ways. And. He asked for time. He, I asked him, so what's going on? Kind of like that. And then. Um, he said he needs time to figure things out, and I didn't know that's what's going on. Yeah. And basically the reason I had said that was because I was... I... fell into this temptation or whatever. And because she was a long-time friend, and... She didn't have very many people. I didn't want to be another source of hurt. And so it was like, is there a way to get out of this without hurting feelings, I guess? And, and, but at the same time, there was that feeling of, like, it feels good to be wanted again. And... Yeah, it took a long... I, basically, I didn't have the guts to just say, no, we shouldn't be doing this, we can't do this. And at the same, so there was that going on, the battle of that inside was, like, there was that point of it, and then there was the point of, but this is what I want. I want to not feel lonely and sucky and unwanted anymore. And, um, but then, is there any... Is there any Basically, yeah, we finally got to a point where it was just, I couldn't handle the guilt anymore, I couldn't, like, so much of the, of that relationship was wrong, and it was super dysfunctional, and she was really manipulative, and I really more realized that after than I did during, I saw it a little bit during, but it wasn't until after being out that I realized the full extent of it too, but what it, so it finally, finally, it came to an end. And she left, and I was alone again, <laughs> dealing with the sucky feelings of that. And then again, I was I went back to thinking about annoying me. And there actually was a time where we you you sent an email to me. No, um, that was so their relationship went on for eight months, right? Almost yeah. Almost a year, and then I met another guy while they're on a relationship 
and then he emailed me that like December that year same year end of the year and then I read that January and then he well the content of the email was kind of like I know that I have done something really, really bad I was such a jerk but I was I am hoping that there will be an like us in a future. chance for us yeah a chance for us in the future and I replied to him um, that I'm already in a relationship and that that relationship was the relationship that brought me back like I was working in Manila which is the main city of the Philippines which is um, another island from our province and I've been dealing with a very like, super stressful work and um, I was an HR and then so my work is basically hiring and firing and so part of the firing is that's where people get like so scary because then I am working as a freelance HR I'm handling like three companies at that time and so Basically, I'm working on my own hours and then because then I don't have to go to the office like every day also to avoid people that are scary <laughs> because either they even is investigated because they stole something so I have to fire them and or the, the boss just simply don't like them, their attitude, behavior, like they're not... Um, they're not selling good enough or kind of like that and they've been in company for three five months so they can like for the boss's perspective they're kind of liability so they need to be removed but then not all the boss has this heart to like let's give them a chance let's give, give them a chance more like I'm not gonna say a race but that's <laughs> the kind of them that like this wife is just like, I don't like him, fire him. So kind of like that. So um, me wanting to do the, the due process, the papers and whatnot, and the boss just wanting them out right away. So there's kind of this conflict between me, the employer, employee relationships, and me as a mediator. So I have to, f like, we, I have, we have gotten like multiple and like um, complain from the NLRC and I have to face them. Either we settle them or either we like find a way to like you are doing like you're not productive, you're late multiple times or so I have to find, find a way. Cause. Yeah, find a cause to fire them. So that came to a point where I get threats already. So yeah, that's became really stressful. And then I met this guy at the same site. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, he was younger than me. And he's a Christian too. And he's kind of, he is very strong. He has a very strong personality, which I do have. Maybe not really that kind of like that, but I am very stubborn. And, but he made me kind of like go back home which I've never had a plan to go. So he was kind of like, so are you choosing this or choosing to be right with God? So what do you want? So I slowly give up things and give up all those companies that I work like, not really right away because I can't just leave. So yeah, we, the relationship was also long distance, so I've never met him. So it's, for me, that relationship was used by God. Like this strong personality so that God, like he can manipulate me to go back <laughs> home so that I can listen. But yeah, it gave me a really, like, more than anything, I'm thankful for that relationship. Like, although there are times where like, I'm just really choked. He's so possessive. I can't drive motorcycle. 
um, once you go to bed and you just <laughs> just yeah it's very possessive relationship but like there are disadvantage and advantage from this relationship but mm, like overall I'm thankful because it, I went back to Palawan and get right with God like he God used used him is what I'm thankful yeah so it lasted one month yes <laughs> eight months too mm. eight months yeah yeah so basically we were we went different ways with different people yeah yeah so when I sent that email and she was saying like, yeah, I met this guy and and yeah. I, you, I don't remember how you finish it, but I remember, I know when I said, I hope there could be a chance, I was like, this is such a stupid thing to say. Like, after everything you did, you would say that to her. <laughs> and, yeah. And I, you, you were, I think, pretty polite about how you responded with yeah, that. Yeah, because but... <laughs> I, I kind of like, I, at that time, I, like, I'm, I'm so thankful like that was a revival so I don't want to be like you deserve that like you're a smart person kind <laughs> of like that so I don't want like I'm I'm thankful for what's happening in my life at that point so I was kind of like so like he knew like I told him that I was like talking to somebody and dating somebody online <laughs> and then he I ask you in the email like so um if you mean if like if you don't mind so what really happened who is she really like who is she, who is she really because he just kept telling me a friend is passing by and then gonna see me in dawson and so he told the story and then we can have a closure and then he i sent him this long long like email about how like i understand where you're coming from and um like yeah i like right away i forgive him because i was happy <laughs> and, uh, but yeah it's um not forgiving it's maybe it's a forgiveness but it's um more of like i understand where you're coming from it's like maybe this is the answer for prayer we've been praying about and i sent you this long um it was basically a goodbye. Yeah. Really. Yeah. <laughs> it was and then yeah, but I sent you I I was doing a devotional thing and then I put give you that and then you said you scoffed to that and then re later realized cried when you read through it through it through it. <laughs> yeah. Because it was something that hit you hard and whatever. Yeah. And that relationship in the like the same year you were you were sending yeah. but we're not in contact anymore at that yeah after that that was the last that we yeah. spoke to each other until june yeah so like six months later i guess roughly we she you sent me an email i was sort of out of the blue and, and i was like oh my no it was july uh, it was July. It was uh, like middle of July, because we were, Dawson and I were just oh, about to leave. Yeah, and yeah. So yeah, I think the one like there was a conversation. I was badly hurt with the end of the relationship. The relationship with the other guy. The other guy, yeah, because it's kind of like. Um, not all relationship would be just like fine. So I find someone who's gonna be like led me to God, but then I was wrong. It's not just about it's not about the person, it's about your relationship with God. The personal relationship with God is like it's God's working, not the person in your life. So um I was hurt and I was kinda like, why? Why? Like there's just lots of whys and whatnot and I think it was Leia and Sarah. I was like staying with them at that point, and there was one supper or dinner time. Like, oh, like 
so how are you doing and whatever like have you heard about that guy which is they're referring to a verb and like his son kind of like that and it's like oh yeah and then i remember him again <laughs> and i'm just stupid i'm just kidding <laughs> So the next day I emailed him just through really like how are you doing? Yeah, it was like yeah, I hope you're doing good or whatever. Yeah, it was like two sentences or three yeah. sentences. It wasn't and my when I went it was like What? <laughs> I was, I was like, oh no, what do I do? <laughs> it was Yeah, I was I I got so nervous and I was like, I can't believe I'm actually hearing from her again. I was I was blowing out of the water because at this point I had kind of sort of just been like maybe I don't deserve to, to be with somebody again I, like maybe I'm not actually capable of of being in a relationship with a person that's godly without screwing up and doing stupid things and whatever and was sort of and the, but there had yeah, there was a woman. There was yeah. an, an, another friend from way back who saw me, my profile on that same website we met on, mm -hmm. and was like, What are you doing here? Aren't you married? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, Well, actually. And then told her like, what happened because she used to be friends with my ex as well. And oh, really? That, that's how I met her. That was oh, through really? my ex. Yeah. And. So then she's like, oh, we should, like, catch up sometime. And so then we, we did end up. And I was at the lake with Nick and Tim and Sheena were there and whatever. And, and these messages were happening. And so I was, like, talking with Nick because I was with her. And I was like, what is, does this mean anything? Like, is this just an old friend wanting to catch up? Or is this, like, interest? Whatever. So we set up this meeting. And, and so it went really well. Like, it, we caught up and we had supper together we went for a walk and she left and like it's like we should do this again sometime and, oh okay and, and but then I didn't it was the same thing like I don't want I do not want to go down that path again so I prayed I said Lord this feel like this feels like really promising but please do not let me go down the path again that I did with previous person if this is not a relationship you want me to entertain then just shut it down like right now because I'm too weak to make a good decision I need I need you to just either like take her out of my life if if this isn't what you want and that is exactly what happened like she dropped off the face of the earth I like tried to reach out a couple of times like hey Dawson and I are gonna go and do so and so you want to tag along and there was always like an ex a reason why not, and then she just stopped replying to messages and wouldn't answer phone calls, and, and I was like, well, then I, there's, I, that's what I prayed for, that's my answer to prayer. Mm -hmm. And then it was like a week and a half later that I got that email from you. Mm -hmm. And we'll pick it up from there next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully... I, I just hear this story. I'm just full of surprises. <laughs> Sometimes they're not big surprises. Well, we're, we're, we're on the same page right here, people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hearing this for me now. <laughs> Talking about our past is sort of difficult, I think, for both of us. Mm -hmm. Because it brings up... For me, it's the reminder of what I put her through. And then for her, of course, it's the pain of what you lived through. For, from my actions and so it, it's kind of like let's just like and I, I don't even think that's necessarily healthy we do talk about our past and like it's not like we don't we, it, we don't pretend like it never happened yeah we but, we prayed about this because I struggled at first um even before we got married I struggled with this I cried out lots because um, I told him repeatedly that I struggle with what happened to us and well God works in a mysterious way so maybe this is one way of him teaching both of us of something else yeah and well there's more that I've learned from us not being 
being away from each other but being with somebody else so like it's not just like um, a wasted time but then um, deep inside like feelings were hurt and like there were regrets like on his part like maybe we should have just like kind of like those things so but we like um, intentionally prayed about me getting over the struggle and pain of what happened so yeah well I just want to be honest with him at that point where it's like I don't want to hear about this but then as a woman like everybody would understand like you were hurt but you kind of want to hear more so that you just keep hurting and then you just kind of like immune to it and then get over it but then um, maybe in the secular part of like in a human human part of a, a woman but then spiritually it's not helping you because Satan is going to find your weak spot and then going she, he is going to attack you all the time and that's what's happening to me and I always succumb to that because then I just like want to have feel the pain and get over it but it's not working yeah so yeah going back we're on the same page <laughs> yeah. So until next time. More birds story. <laughs> birds story. <laughs> <laughs>